So I collected a bunch of bald cypress seed pods. I let them dry out. I'm breaking them up. I'm going to put them in a jar and store them in the garage for the winter. And in the spring, I'm going to plant them. So I'm going to bust all of these things up. I already started. I'm going to put them in there. Check back when I'm done with that. And we're going to seal them up. Put them in the garage. And in the spring, we're going to plant them. And we're going to grow them. So this is a long-term video. Today is December 14th. 2023 i'll be checking back in april or may of 2024 all right there's the shells and here we are like 30 minutes later maybe 40 and i mean there's still a lot of seeds left in this i'm probably going to just plant this in the backyard and see what grows out of this stuff here these are going to be stratified in my garage. And we'll see how they do. See you in the spring. So, these are the bald cypress seeds. They sat in the garage in the mason jar all winter. Been soaking for 24 hours. I'm going to strain them. And then they're going to need to get planted. And we'll see if they grow. All right, I have this tray, these seeds, that soil. We're going to mix them all together. These are the bald cypress that have been uh, stratifying in the garage in the mason jar all winter. Uh, it's now spring. I'm going to get these suckers in here. And then I think for the next couple days, I'm going to keep them inside on some heat, some bottom heat, just to. Give them a good chance because it's kind of chilly out there today. Um, it's like 40 today outside here in Missouri. This is just, <laughs> if you like this uh, fancy screen, I got this at the thrift store. Got a giant roll of it for like a dollar. <clears throat> but it works for this kind of stuff. I mean, it's not. As far as I'm concerned, it's not imperative. These are experimental bald cypress seedlings that I got from a park last year. I collected them off of a tree in a park. So, I mean, I don't even know if they're viable, to be honest with you. This is turfus and pine bark and peat. Um, Try and get a fairly thick layer of it. A little bit of sphagnum. It's just a bunch of hodgepodge of stuff mixed in there. But I want it to be pretty thick. I have in the past I've used a minimal amount of soil for stuff like this. And then next thing you know, the trees are growing and it's too shallow and it's a pain in the butt everything's you know better to have deep soil than shallow soil I'm saying. especially when I'm about to put like a couple hundred seeds in this thing and who knows if any of them are going to grow or if all of them are going to grow if all of them grow then we're going to this thing's going to be crammed full as a matter of fact, maybe I should take some of this out, <laughs> spread the seeds in there, and then cover them over. And that'll be easier than uh, trying to bury them all individually because there's a lot of them. There's just so many of them. Spread them out here. It is crazy how many of them there are.
There's probably not an advisable way to do this. This is way too many for this tray. I don't think I can put all these in here. <laughs> I think that's about it. Um. Hmm. Boy, if even half of these grow, this tray is going to be too crowded. Uh. But. Yeah, I think I'll save the rest of these and put them in something else. Mm. Yeah, that's a lot of. Still have a lot of seeds left, and that tray is pretty, pretty full. Alright, we got some mesh in there, some soil, doesn't need to be super deep, spread some leaves out in there, by some, I mean a thousand, that's too many, man. Put a few in here and stick them in my little inside greenhouse and see if they grow. A fun little experiment. Look at them growing everywhere. They're growing everywhere. Let's see if any of them grow. Like I said, I don't even know the tree I got these off of produces viable seeds. Um, there's a tree at a park. Um, I didn't notice any seedlings under it, so I don't know if that's a good thing. All right, there they are. They're in the in the soil. Let's give them a squirt. Uh, these trees love moisture, so I'm wondering if the seeds also love moisture. I'm pretty sure they probably do. Alrighty, they're in. I'll update you. When they sprout or when they don't sprout. This is all going to be one video, so three months in the making. See what happens. The bald cypress seeds that I put in the mason jar in the garage over the winter and then stuck in this flat are really starting to take off. There's quite a few of them in here. All popping every day. This will have to get dealt with. But I guess it was a success. Thanks for watching.